Yeah. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and click that like button. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time you put y'all some heat. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a full tutorial on how to create some clean line work for you, like cartoon illustrations and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first thing you want to do before you even get started is go ahead and pick a nice size for your artboard. And what I like to use, the size I like to use when I'm drawing is 18 by 18 inches. Because it's like big where you can, you know, fit a lot of detail in it. And it's a perfect fit for when you want to post on Instagram and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and click 18 by 18. You feel me? All right, new file. Then after you do that, you want to drag and drop the picture you using. So let me go to my desktop real quick. Find my picture. You going to drag and drop it. It's taking a little minute to load. Yeah. Our picture, man. I'm working on this for a client and you know what I would do you can leave it this size and after you create the line work scale it down you know what I'm saying so it'll be easier to see but it's just a preference thing however you want to do it I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down a little bit so what I do is I hold shift and grab the little edge and just bring it in the reason you got a whole shift so you don't distort the picture as you resizing it. You know what I'm saying? So, whole shift. And we bring it up. She can be a little off the page. We don't. Then after I do that, I drop the opacity down. I'm going to drop the opacity down like to 67. Just something good enough with your your line worker stand out on the top. Now we finna to set the pressure sensitivity. You have to have a digital art tablet to be able to get this option. So you cannot get this option I'm finna show you with your mouse. So come right here, go to new brush, hit okay, go to pressure, and change these two bottom numbers to three. I put three right there and I put three on that side and I go to my brush and that's how y'all see me get that little pressure brush you see me using every video I ever made that's what I do that's the only thing I do so right now what I'm doing is holding control and hitting the plus symbol to zoom in and we finna start with the line work Another thing you can do when your lines are too thick, you can bring it down some. So I, I just brought it down to a 0 0.5. And all we gonna do is just, just gonna trace what we see, man. Get some clean lines. Another thing too that'll help you make some clean line work is make sure you go inside your brush settings. And if you want um, the computer to help you make your line more sharper without the jitters in it, just move your smoothness up, you know what I'm saying? And then if you want more control, like a more realistic touch, you move it down. But me personally, I keep it in the center, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a perfect balance just being in the center. So that's how I do it. Tracing along like this. Go right here. Bring this up. Trace what you see. Let's 
So I'm gonna move my brush back up to like a one point. We gonna make it bold on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Make my very, very thick and consistent. You know what I'm saying? So we keep that flow. This side. Make sure I'm closing my lines out too. So I'm gonna go through everywhere on this picture. Make sure I don't have no openings. You know what I'm saying? Almost finished with the full outline. And to get a perfect circle right here, I'm gonna go to my shape tool, go to the ellipse tool. We're gonna make it the same size as the ball. Then we're gonna make it a little thicker. Like right there. And then after that, go back to our brush tool. And we're going to overshoot our line. Meaning we're going to go through the ball. Just like that. You'll see why in a minute. It all makes sense. Even with this hand. Overshoot our lines. See what I just did? Now what you're gonna do is highlight this area that we overshot the lines through the basketball. I mean, it's through the soccer ball or volleyball, whatever it is. Then go to object, expand appearance. And then you want to go to your pathfinder. And you can find that in your windows tab. Go to pathfinder. And then you want to go to divide. Okay, wait, step back. Hit control Z. We forgot a step. Just step back one time. Go back to object and hit expand again. You got to do expand twice. And then hit OK. Because we just turned a symbol into a shape. You know what I'm saying? So now you want to come over here and hit divide. And after you hit divide, we can right click the line, go to isolate selected group. Now we can delete the lines that we don't want. That's overshot. And you only can do that when lines are crossing each other. That now we got the perfect fit. Now, it's time to go inside of this picture and add some detail. Now that we 
did the outline of this piece. Let's go in and do some finer detail. So I made my brush 0 0.5, a little smaller. go to um, our pencil tool by right clicking the brush go to pencil tool make sure your settings look just like this inside of your pencil tool Hit ok move this color black to the top clicking this little arrow and there you have it we finna use this pencil tool as a field tool all we're going to do is draw the area we want it to fill and it'll always fill in the center after you close it off. So, go through his eyes. Side, same thing. Bring this up over just like this. We're gonna come up to her hair. We're gonna do the same thing. Just like this.
Now that we finish with the line work, what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight everything. Then we're gonna go to object, expand appearance, and then we're gonna click merge on our pathfinder. We're gonna hold shift, and we're gonna shrink it down to size so it'll fit on our artboard. There you have it, you guys. I made some clean line work, man. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned because more heat will be coming soon. And I'm out this thing.